Maybe because it's hot in here and there's a bloody stage light in your face. <laughs> no, enjoy the festival so far. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to see the comedy scene in Exeter booming, isn't it? You should have seen it a few years ago. I'm not saying the place was dead, but it used to be a mortuary. <laughs> I knew it was still a little shack afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> the mortuary attendants, man, they are freaky. <laughs> okay, my, my last job came to a premature end. I was a gynecologist. <laughs> well, with, yeah, so Pretty Patel, so other brother men, that postmistress who everybody hates. Lots on the first day, I took one look up there and said, Fuck me, there is just no end to this cunt. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm a fellow who likes to make people laugh and groan. It's a policy I've adopted as both a comedian and as a gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> so, the sex addicts in the room? Sorry. <laughs> one reviewer said, He acts like he's at home on stage. Yeah, this was a show where I spent two hours eating crisps and watching porn in the nude. <laughs> <laughs> they were, yeah, the festival gear, I tell you. Weirdest gig I ever did, I uh, once in a gig at a nudist club. God, I haven't seen so many digs and twats in one room since they released the party game photos. <laughs> also on the bill was a naked ventriloquist. Rubbish. Let's see a lips move. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to say it was cold in the room, but there was a blind fella who mistook my dick for a nice body. Oh. <laughs> Mind you, the children's choir went down the street. Uh. <laughs> now it is the job of every comedian to know where to draw the line. Like as I said in the laboratory. <laughs> <laughs> My dad always used to say that the worst thing you can do as to an enemy is just ignore him. I don't understand why he was kicked out of the army. <laughs> 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 Behind every successful man there is a woman, especially if you're into SNL. Sharon <laughs> Sharon share alike, he said, and then he explained what polyamory was. <laughs> the best form of revenge is living well. Funnily enough, nobody wanted to buy his action film script. <laughs> Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. And after much therapy, I've got the word and I'm doing pretty well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my granddad used to say that the that imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery. He was a black and white minstrel. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, this year in celebrity scandals, uh, Pete Diddy's had some allegations against him, Gary Glitter's back in prison. Well, that's bugger the next series of The Masked Singer, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, about a year ago, Rolf Harris died. Main guess the song they played in his funeral, got him. Thank heaven for little girls. <laughs> <laughs> Join in if you know the words. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got couples in. <laughs> yes. Now they say that personality is what is important in a relationship. What makes it last, strengthens it. Well, my girlfriend's schizophrenic, so uh, I'm small for choice. <laughs> so if you're part, if you're having sex with your partner and she's schizophrenic, is it adultery or an orgy? <laughs> You know, I got two sets of feedback on that joke. One really loved it, one really hated it. <laughs> I don't even need to do the punchline crap, I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, he loves that joke! Oh, he hates it, he hates it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got the same birthday thing we got. We want to be celebrated by getting stoned together. What's the joint, joint birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Enabling toxic behaviour, actually. <laughs> So once I had Valentine's Day, I once got her a, a finger trap as a gift. Funny enough, that's also what she calls her genitals. <laughs> <laughs> I once got a Valentine's card. It said, happy, happy Valentine's Day, you big idiot. Remember, if she calls you and if she scares you, she's the one. Love Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had an argument, my girlfriend. We had a disagreement on the definition of gaslighting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the punchline, yes, steady, 
Uh, I'm actually to convince her she was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I had a great joke about gaslighting. Do you remember? You <laughs> loved it. You thought it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and you were going to buy me a drink after the show. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a, we have an open relationship with lots of friends with benefits. Universal credit, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I haven't had this much sex since I was a hypnotist. <laughs> I should not have told you that. <laughs> you will forget that last joke. <laughs> you will support local comedy. <laughs> you will buy me a drink after the show. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, my car on the IC net at the same as my romantic engagements. <laughs> Gotta go, that'll be five minutes is nearly up. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hey, you want to go Yes! <laughs> Little fact about our next act. He's not a poet, you don't even know it. His first job was a circus knife thrower. So remember that if you feel like heckling. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a big